In the ever-evolving world of professional photography, anticipation is building for Canon's next big announcement. Industry insiders and trusted sources are buzzing with excitement about the imminent arrival of the Canon EOS R1, the company's upcoming flagship mirrorless camera. This comprehensive rumor report delves into the latest information, speculation, and analysis surrounding this highly anticipated release. According to a trusted source, Canon is on the brink of unveiling the EOS R1 to the world. The most compelling evidence of this comes from reports of a significant Canon meeting scheduled in Canada on July 4. This meeting, notably taking place on a US holiday, is said to involve retailers and focuses on the signing of non-disclosure agreements NDAs. The timing of these NDAs is particularly telling. Industry experts, including Craig Blair, the owner and editorial director of Canon Rumors, have long pointed to such actions as a clear indicator of an impending product launch. Typically, the signing of retailer NDAs precedes a major announcement by just one to three weeks, with two weeks being the most common time frame. This short gap between NDAs and announcements serves several crucial purposes. It allows retailers sufficient time to prepare for the new product launch, including ordering inventory, updating marketing materials, planning promotions, and arranging in-store displays. All of these activities are essential for a smooth and impactful product release. While detailed specifications remain under wraps, the EOS R1 is expected to feature a 24-megapixel stacked sensor. This choice of sensor suggests a focus on speed and performance rather than maximum resolution, aligning with the camera's intended use for sports and fast-action photography. The R1 is positioned as Canon's flagship mirrorless camera, but it's important to note its specialized nature. Unlike the more versatile EOS R5 series, which is often described as a jack-of-all-trades suitable for various photography genres, the R1 appears to be tailored specifically for sports and fast-action shooting. This specialization is reflected in the sensor choice. The 24-megapixel resolution, while lower than some other professional models, allows for faster readout speeds, higher frame rates, and potentially better low-light performance, all crucial factors for sports and action photography. Given this information, we can narrow down the potential announcement dates for the Canon EOS R1. The most likely windows appear to be July 9th to 11th or July 16th to 18th, falling on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of those weeks. These midweek dates align with Canon's historical preference for product announcements. However, there's always room for surprise. While less likely, Canon could opt for a Monday announcement potentially at the end of the day Eastern Time, effectively making it a Tuesday announcement in some parts of the world. This strategy has been employed by Canon in the past, notably with the RF 200-800mm lens and the R6 Mark II camera. The choice between an Asian or North American announcement schedule remains uncertain. For reference, the EOS R5 and R6 were announced at approximately 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for years ago. In a departure from earlier expectations, the source indicates that Canon will be ready to accept pre-orders and deposits for the R1 very soon after the announcement. This suggests a potentially shorter gap between announcement and availability than initially anticipated. Previously, sources had indicated a possible end-of-summer availability for the R1. However, this new information hints at a more aggressive timeline. Canon typically has a two- to six-week window between announcement and shipping for new gear. For instance, the EOS R5 was announced in early July and began shipping on July 30, while the RF 200-800mm lens was announced on November 2 and started shipping on December 14. The accelerated timeline could be influenced by the upcoming Paris Olympics, set to begin on July 26. As a camera designed for professional sports and action photography, having the R1 available for this major sporting event would be a significant advantage for Canon.
the introduction of the EOS R1 is expected to have a significant impact on the professional camera market. It will directly compete with other flagship mirrorless cameras like the Sony A1 and the Nikon Z9, potentially reshaping the landscape of professional sports and action photography. Canon's strong reputation in this sector, built on the success of its EOS 1D series of DSLRs, gives the R1 a solid foundation. However, the mirrorless market is fiercely competitive, and Canon will need to deliver exceptional performance to stand out. The timing of the R1's release, potentially coinciding with the Paris Olympics, could provide Canon with a powerful platform to showcase the camera's capabilities on a global stage. This high-profile event could serve as a real-world testing ground for the R1, potentially influencing purchasing decisions for professional photographers and major news agencies. While official pricing has not been revealed, the EOS R1 is expected to command a premium price point befitting its flagship status. For context, the EOS R3, which has served as a de facto stand-in for the R1, was initially priced at $5,999. The R1, as the true flagship, could potentially carry an even higher price tag. It's worth noting that as new models are introduced, prices of existing cameras often see reductions. For instance, the original EOS R5 is currently available at a $1,000 discount from its release price, while the EOS R3 has seen significant price drops at various retailers. For potential buyers, this creates an interesting dynamic. While the R1 will undoubtedly offer cutting-edge technology and performance, photographers must weigh this against the value proposition of existing models like the R5 and R3, which are now available at more attractive price points. With any major camera release, there's always an element of FOMO, fear of missing out, among enthusiasts and professionals alike. The EOS R1, as Canon's new flagship, is likely to generate significant excitement and demand. However, it's crucial for potential buyers to consider their specific needs and use cases. While the R1 is expected to be a technological marvel, Cameras like the EOS R5 and R3 remain highly capable tools that may better suit certain photographers' needs and budgets. That said, for those determined to be among the first to own the R1, being prepared for pre-orders is crucial. High-demand cameras often sell out quickly upon release, sometimes within minutes. Using pre-order links and being ready at the announcement time can make the difference between securing a first batch unit or facing a potentially long wait. The Canon EOS R1 represents a pivotal moment in Canon's mirrorless journey. As the true flagship of the R series, it embodies Canon's vision for the future of professional photography. While much remains speculative until the official announcement, the signs point to an imminent release that could redefine expectations for speed, performance, and capability in the realm of sports and action photography. As we await official confirmation from Canon, photographers and industry watchers alike are keenly anticipating what could be one of the most significant camera releases of the year. Whether the EOS R1 lives up to the considerable hype surrounding it remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, its impact on the professional camera market will be closely watched and analyzed in the months to come. Remember, while this information is based on credible sources and analysis, it remains unofficial until Canon makes a formal announcement. As with all rumors, details may change, and some speculations may not materialize. Nonetheless, the coming weeks promise to be an exciting time for Canon enthusiasts and the photography community at large.